Hello everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to today's Tuesday Teaching Tips. Um, so today I'm going to be giving you three simple strategies for using Sulfar in your teaching studio. Sulfar is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Yeah, that's Sulfar from the sound of music. So here's three things that you can use it for at whatever level or age really. The first thing is you can use it with beginners, and by that I mean people in their first year of teaching, um, first year of teaching, first year of, of learning. You can use it with beginners to teach some songs, and through the songs, they then begin to develop their internal sense of pitch. Really important that they develop an internal sense of pitch, not a sense of pitch that's physically related to the piano, because that just leads to problems. Here's a song, yeah, to give you an example of what I mean. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't scream, I won't shout, if your apple knocks me out. So that's the song Apple Tree, very simple, but you could see that I put in um, a little clapping game to go with it. And the clapping game distracts the students from the fact that they're singing. They're so busy trying to copy you doing this. So I don't sit there and teach it formally. I'll sing the song, I'll play the clapping game, and I'll say, can you join in with me? In fact, why don't you do that right now? Join in with me. Off I, just do the, just do the actions, by the way. Off I go, Apple Tree, Apple Tree. Will your apple fall on me? I won't scream, I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. Okay, and then after doing the clapping game, and maybe in the next lesson, you can then start to put the song maybe into the thinking voice. So you're still going to do the actions, and the, the, the singing is still happening, but it's happening up here. I'll give you a little blast. Off I go. See what I mean? And it's a very subtle thing, but really, really important that the song is still there and the actions are so important because they help the student to get that sense of pitch. And that then can lead you on eventually to doing it in so far, like this. Off I go, so, so, me, so, so, me, so, so, la, la, so, so, me. Okay. And I have lots of prompts around in my studio to help the students really grasp so la and me so la so me i've got my la so me cups here you can see there's something up there as well which would be kind of the next stage where we start to put it into a a, a more physically visual representation on this on a pretend stage okay so that's number one which is songs second thing i think it can be really really useful for is starting to understand scales and the structure of scales so let's take for example a pentascale by that i mean do re mi fa so yeah so um that would be the sort of the starting point if you like for a student beginning to learn about scales and i might do what i call the sol fa song which is do re whole step re mi whole step mi fa half step fa so whole step and with my students, I sing up that, and I, that's part of their practice is to go home and practicing and playing that as well. And of course, once they know the structure, once they understand the, the whole steps and the half steps, they can then start that on any note, and that's lots of fun. Can they, can they work them out on all the black notes, for example? Yeah, they don't need to necessarily know that it's D flat major. I will tell them, by the way, but they, they don't need to be involved in all the mechanics behind that. As long as they know that structure, they can work out those scales. And this is really, really one of the beauties of solfa is that it shows the relationship between a note. Do, re is always a whole step, re, mi, whole step, mi, fa is always a half step, yeah, and you just don't get that in any other sense when you sing it with letter names or even if you sing it with numbers, those are shifting boundaries, so far, relative, each note to each other. Okay, so that's your second one. I'm getting carried away here, aren't I? So the third one um, is sight reading. I think it can be really, really useful, especially if you've done quite a bit of sulfur in the past, or even if you haven't really, to give it a go when you're reading um, 
some uh, sight reading for the first time. So rather than getting a student to play it straight away, then get them to actually sing it um, and you sing along. I mean, I'm not putting the student on the spot here. I'm leading by example all the time. So sight reading is another really good way of bringing soul fire into the, studio, into the studio. It could just be rather than singing the whole thing, do soul, that they just sing a, a particular interval or something like that. So three ways, it's songs, it's scales, and it's sight reading. Really, really useful for all those things. For you, the teacher, it's really important that you're playful when you're doing this, okay? You've got to put yourself out there. You've actually got to be a little bit vulnerable, even if you're thinking, oh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Give it a go. See how it feels. Learn alongside your pupil. That's really important. And that just be brave. Just give it a go and be really brave. Um, if you're watching this and you're already part of the Curious Piano Teaching community, then you'll find that there are some videos uh, that you can follow that I'm already taking you through all the little progressive steps to get your confidence level and your skill level up. If you're not yet a member of the community, then we're opening on this Thursday. So I'm doing this in May. So this is on May the 16th, I think we open or the 15th. So, um, but in the meantime, if you want to look other places, and I really, really recommend you get some training. It's like anything else, you have got to have a certain level of competence and, and confidence in yourself to deliver this really well. Then have a look at the Voices Foundation if you're based in the UK, um, because we offer, to, we offer training courses, the Voices Foundation does. Um, and also there's a fab new website called the Kadai Hub, and I'll put a link to both of those underneath this video here. Thank you so much for watching, I've, um, or even watching, and um, have a go. Try and use some sulfur in your lessons today, either through a song or doing the scale, or try it in some sight reading. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, have fun, make music. Bye for now.